everyone welcome back to after dark this is season three now trying to go for a little bit more of a revamp more of a candid intimate style so as you can see uh, if there's not a bunch of us on screen it's just me and my guest for the night he is <coughs> my name is <coughs> Divine, don't get me started. I'm coming down with a little bit of something, so for, forgive me. This man is a fantastic content creator for five-year-olds, right? I'm telling you, my nephew watches him on YouTube all the time, and, and I'm glad he's getting involved in the breakout boxing space. Feel me? He will be fighting on July 27th. Breakout 04 against the main card, you feel me? You see, it's a very interesting fight. You know, they got a lot of different media out already, so you can go check that out. But I'm just kind of promoting this ugly-ass nigga stuff, so let me yes, properly sir. introduce him. Right? <clears throat> he is the man who wears a red do-rag that I am positive smells like shit. I've never seen this man not wearing gray sweatpants. What are you trying to do? Track five year old women. We have questions. That's what I'm saying. He's never not wearing gray sweats. Yes, sir. He has a problem. This man is skinny fat. Gotta show this cock. He, you're right. You're right. Don't even, don't even say it. You're right. Just keep on going. Don't even, you're right. You're right. Just keep on going. Don't even say it. You're right. Just keep on going. Anyway, you know what? <laughs> I can't even say nothing else other than that. People, Divine Xavier. Tell him how you feeling. Your favorite white light skin that wears a do rag, even though he don't even need to, but he still does anyway, because he's about it. Fuck are you talking about? And your hair probably straight as shit. I that, nigga got, that nigga got about as many waves as my nigga Scooby. <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, but anyway. Bad. This nigga has a paper. Okay, I, don't, I, have, I have so many different questions. Good, go here, good. This but is luckily, so much show, material you can go off here. This show isn't an interview format, luckily, but we're going to start with something simple here. Um, Rafi, Rafi Sports. Man. It's a Man. shame, bro. It's a shame. It is. I was very excited. I was so ready to whoop his ass, bro. I mean, it is what it is. So ready. Niggas uh, got too busy at the gas station. You feel me? I had to pick up the extra shift or two. <laughs> Don't laugh. This is very serious. <laughs> very serious. <laughs> you you know? can't say serious shit with me, bro. I'm going to be real. It, it is very bro. serious, you know? People have bills to pay. He had to pick up an extra two, three shifts at the gas station. Man. You feel me? He needs, he's averaging 50 Akiway bagels a day. You know I mean? Somebody got to make them bitches. Yeah, somebody had to make them. Somebody, bitches. somebody got to make them bitches. So me, so it's understandable, you know. He got to, he and that bitch chefing up. Oh, but, uh, how do you feel? How did you feel after the opponent changed? Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. For a couple, for a couple days, I was just like, bro, I was sad, bro. I was sitting here like, damn, like. Like, I did all this shit already. Like, it's been, like, two weeks, and I already fucking did, like, three months worth of promo. Or at least in this scene, it was three months worth of promo because people don't post for shit. So I was like, damn, I did all this shit, and he pulled out. But it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. At the end of the day, shit. I mean, yeah, yeah. That is fair game. Five months no. one. This next part will be bleeped a little bit. Uh, on my part, so Breakout doesn't um, send assassins my way. But right. I do know who they had offered you. I did I did see the list of offers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? Um, so, I want to know specifically, you know, why not my guy, Damien Bluto? To be he honest. Was he was offered. I just... I just, I just I don't know who he is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I can't see him. I can't see him promoting the fight the way I want to. You know what I'm saying? He, he's too, he's too serious about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's too serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
You like, relax. You saying the man act like a pro boxer and that's the influencer scene? Yeah, like, yeah, he's, I feel you. I feel he's calling you. out everybody. I'm sitting here like, bro, like, he's more hungry for a win than I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, it's my first fight. Like, I'm trying to get a feel for the ring, get some experience in, get some promo so I can show motherfuckers how to promote a fight since nobody in this fucking scene knows how to. And this motherfucker's respect over me. here trying respect to take me. heads off. Respect me. Respect me. Respect me. Look, I, look, hey, look, we, we don't get to that later. But anyway, uh, Damien, he just, I, I don't know. I Like, I'm not saying I don't know him. Like, who are you? Because, like, obviously I know who he is. But, like, I just don't, I just can't picture it in my head. You know what I'm saying? The angels told me not him. So I was like, all right, fair enough. It's not him. You know what? I'm not even going to bleep that. I'm going to leave that in for my guy, Damien. Yeah. I'm going to let him cook yeah. it. Yeah. And, like, I don't, like, he, like, I don't do like online beef, you know what I'm saying? Like he's so he was so aggressive with the approach, and like we're gonna see each other in person at breakout four. So it's like I'm not about to argue online and then poke to him and be like, hey, what's going on? Like, no, like I'm cool with everybody and I'm gonna keep it cool until yeah. something is solidified because I'm not about to fake shake hands with my, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. But uh so uh <clears throat> another name that was offered to you. Right, we went from you know a rookie hasn't even had a fight yet. So let's talk about someone like Flash Rand. Right, Rand. No, Rand is on the radar. Rand is on the radar, but that motherfucker had four fights. He he he's had four times in the ring, which obviously he lost. But like, bro, if you lose four times, you bro, you are you that if you you can't lose a fifth time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I'm about to get in the ring with somebody that's been in there four times. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I haven't even been in there once. One time. I don't care oh. if Rand threw three punches his whole fight. That motherfucker, he, he knows inside and out what the fight nerves is like. You know what I'm saying? I'm not stupid. I'm not about to fall for okay. that. I'm not, okay. I'm not okay. lamb to the slaughter in this we're gonna, moment. We're going to break this out a little bit. Okay? So, firstly, right? Confirm or deny. Are you saying that Rand only threw three punches in his last fight? No, 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 no. I'm just saying... It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. He he just got he he has more experience in the ring and with the nerves. I'm not I'm not about to be lamb to the slaughter to that shit. That's just me. you saying he would have whooped your ass. No, because we're gonna spar. I want I want to spar him first on spar day. I want to spar I, him first. I, I, I kind of got that nigga first. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been talking to so much shit. <laughs> okay, okay. I, after y'all go, I want Rand. I want to spar Rand. I want to spar everybody, but. No, I mean I just I like I'm not stupid, you know what I'm saying? I'm a smart man. Chess, not checkers. He was right, bro. Honestly, I can't wait till after 04 just so um we can pick the few we end up drafting into our homie scoop chat. Mainly because I'm I'm running I'm running with you as a draft pick. I'm not gonna hold you. But we have to meet you in person because if you a bitch in person, uh, right. sorry. You can't be in that. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how Dito's there. It's like, no, let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. Stop, 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 stop. But, right, and finally, we settle on the main card as your opponent. Right? <sighs> Big, fluffy white boy. Big old chunk. Make your choice this decision. Out of everybody that I was offered, the main card made the most sense in terms of content. Mm. made the most sense out of content that was like the main reason i picked the main card every like besides ran because ran definitely would have promoted that bitch he's fought he fought on uh breakout was that breakout one right that was breakout one one in three one in three right so obviously he knows how to promote because he was main event against botfy and then um damien already said angel said no I'm not doing that and then Everybody else on that list, I'm not going to lie. I, it took me like 20 minutes to find them Nobody's, on social media. I'm not going to hold you. A bunch of it just, I like I couldn't even find them on Twitter, Instagram. I'm sitting here like, well, what's the point of doing that? Like, they, they, they're not, they not, they not going to promote if I can't even find them on fucking socials. So we're not going to do that. So. No, I'm not going to lie. Those are type nigga things to show up. Yeah, so I'm man, I, I saw a main card, and I'm like, that's my boy. But out of everybody on this list, the content would be the best with this. So, boom. I fuck with it. I fuck with it, right? Now, sure. there are a lot of people on this 04 card, right? As of right now, the full card is released. 
Uh, I'm going to run it down. I didn't upload the picture because I'm a fucking idiot. But actually, no, you just got in here a little too early for I to think about it. But okay. on the night, we have starting off JDM versus Tetsuke. Let me get your thoughts on that fight. <sighs> bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. Who was uh, Tetsuke's opponent before he pulled out? Who was it? I forgot who it was. Shogun. Uh, no, 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 no. Before um the injury, he was going to fight Dizo. Yeah, see, that's the thing, bro. I fuck with Dizo and Tetsuke and JDM. So, like, when it was Dizo and Tetsuke, I was like, damn, that's fucked up because I really like Dizo. But me and Tech <laughs> were going to make, like, a, a diss track song on him. So I was like, all right. And then JDM stepped in. I was like, damn, I really fuck with JDM. But, like, me and Tech are about to make this, like, song. So I'm sitting here like, damn, bro. So I, I don't know. Honestly, bro, that is a fire-ass fight. Tech 2K went off the grid. He's pulling some fucking karate kid. I don't know what he's doing, training in fucking Mexico on some Creed shit. I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but uh, he needs to come back. The oh, bat signal's out. He needs to come back. I don't know where the fuck he's been. Europe, Africa, fucking Canada. I don't know where he's at. He needs to come back. He needs to make a return. Texas. But, um, all right, so who are you picking in that fight? Be, be for real. I haven't seen JDM's footage at all. I've not seen any footage at all whatsoever. So I got to say tech. But until I see footage of JDM, that could change. Subject to change. But for now, I got to go with tech. Fair, Just from lack, lack of footage on JDM's part. So next on the card, we got Thomas Spartan versus Anarchy. Right? Good lightweight bout. What are your thoughts on the fight? Thomas. That's it? Thomas, bro. Thomas. Boom! Thomas. I got hey, that feeling, I, I, can't, man. I can't even blame you. Because Thomas is going to fuck that nigga up. Yeah. Bro, Thomas is going to put hands to that nigga he ain't never felt before. I know. Thomas, bro, Thomas is actually really, I'm not going to lie. Thomas is really good. He went up against Ann. He survived in that bitch. He was doing pretty good. So that's, and Ann's one of the best in the scene. So I was like, all right, bet. Say less. Thomas, all the way. I've been, I've been working with Thomas every breakout week since 02. And you know, Nice. Even, nice. Though I whooped, I, even though I whooped his ass at 02. So. Right, right. But did he whoop your ass at 03, though? No, 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 no. We barely sparred at 03. We, we sparred mm. for, like, maybe two minutes randomly, and we barely <laughs> touched each other. Do I have socks on or no? Never mind. Next question. My bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, did, we did have socks on. We didn't have headgear on. But, um, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Shit, I bet. But, um, that's what I was saying. Next fight on the card, right? Very, very important fight. Very, um, very slept on fight, in my opinion, due to the raw, due to the pure dog power that's going to be on display. Due to the pure ass whooping that I'm going to put on, nigga. Due to the pure slaughter that's going to be happening on July 27th. We have... Slime versus Zay Castro, right? Now, be fucking for real with me. What are your thoughts on the fight? Look, look, th this is my genuine thought. Zay, if you lose this fight, I'm blocking you, bro. I'm going to be I'm gonna be real. If you lose this fight, I'm never talking to you again. That's valid. That's valid. That's valid. And I, I, honestly, like, I'm being dead. Like, you may think I'm joking. I'm being dead ass. If you lose this fight, stop boxing. Stop. Never no, fight no. again, bro. You're not wrong. Now, now, put, putting putting all that to the side as a genuine matchup. How you know? That, it, no, it is fire. I think this is a good matchup though, because I I haven't seen Slime fight, but I mean, I think it is a good matchup. I think this is I think this is the start of the Zay Redemption arc. It's the so beginning. Like, it's it, this is the beginning of like your that. story. Feel me? I'm trying to birth a new division over here. Exactly. With the vision of ugly ass motherfuckers. I would have to draft your ass first to do that. But no 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 no. Yeah. No, no, of course. It goes without saying it's gonna be Zay Castro first round knockout. E twenty. Right. Um so next fight. Ant Mills versus unknown. <sighs> that, is that even a question, bro? It's it's really not. It's not even a question. I, you know what? Let me, let me keep it a stack. I think Unknown is going to be better than what we think he is. 
But it's Aunt Mills, bro. It's Aunt Mills. It's Aunt fucking Mills. I think Unknown gonna be a bucket of shit. <laughs> he might. He, I think he's gonna try to grapple Ant during the fight. I don't think that's gonna go well. Probably not, but I think he's gonna try. Did, did you do niggas not remember O one when um Aunt Mills damn near gave Dizo a fucking arm drag in the middle really? of the ring? Yeah. Was, Dizo tried to grab his Dizo tried to like put his weight on him. Aunt Mills stood up and damn near flipped his doom ass over it. <laughs> What's your dog's name? Scooby. Scooby? Yeah. I'm so I mean that's the ass. nigga who probably got more curls than you. Nah, nah, that's fucked up. I'm not gonna lie, that's fucked up. Fuck Scooby and fuck you, honestly. Nigga Scooby, I, bro, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will bite. Had, I will have this nigga bite your ankles, bro. I will bite. I will, bro, I will kick his ass like a fucking soccer ball. So look, fucking look, far. Look intimidating. Look intimidating. <sighs> yeah. 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 Bitch um, ass. <sighs> bitch ass motherfucker. Yeah, but like it's it's no question. It's Ann Mills getting washed. Ann Mills, Ann Mills getting washed. What the fuck am I talking about? It's an unknown getting washed. I was gonna say, hold on, you you are tripping, bro. Yeah, but that knocks down four of the fights. Fifth fight of the night: Grimvis versus Lil Joey. Now I'm I'm keeping my thoughts to myself because I'm gonna I'm gonna say what I gotta say at the end, but. This fight's interesting. What are your thoughts? I haven't seen footage of Lil Joey. I don't think. I don't think anyone has. Yeah, I haven't seen footage of Lil Joey. I really do fuck with Lil Joey, though. He's a, he's a nice guy. He's a very nice guy. He he did go on a little rant. I think it was like a month ago. He went on a rant, crashed out, disappeared. Um, I hope he's doing okay, because that was, that was not expected. But... Uh, Nah, I'm not gonna lie, Grimvis. He was looking. So I, I saw some sparring footage. I forgot who it was with, but he was looking pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. So I had to go with Grimvis on that one. You know, what I'm I think Grimvis is gonna take. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm taking Grimvis on this one too. You know, it's about time Grimvis got himself a win. He's very talented, Damn. but being 0 and 2 has got to be crazy. I know. I'm. I'm. Hey, not me. I'm praying. Not me. Ah, been there, done that. But um, <laughs> we know <clears throat> this is your last chance. Shut up. Um, my bad, game. So um, anyway, right? On to our sorry, I'm high. Fuck. On to our features fights, right? We have Intrepid versus Mark Flames. This fight, bre- I'm not gonna lie. This fight breaks my heart because I'm cool with both of them. I met Mark in person. Mark is like somebody you just want to hug, bro. Like, Mark is just so lovable. Like, he's, he's, Mark, you look at Mark and you're just like, that's that dude. Like, Mark is that yeah. dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, after you get over feeling bad for his lack of a chin. Yeah, I, I watched his first fight. I was like, damn, that was, <sighs> that was unfortunate. I'm not going to lie. Not, not his boxing chin, like a physical chin. <laughs> Are you smoking a dildo? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What the fuck is that? That looks like a medical device. Nigga, it's a filter. That shit, bro, I've never seen that in my life. It's a, it's a homemade filter. It is a medical device, but it's a homemade shit filter. It looks like a McDonald's straw that got fucking expanded with a fucking... No, it's um, um, it's like a breathing tube. Shit looks like a fucking ferret tube. You know them little tubes that the ferrets run in? A fucking... What is it called? I don't know what I don't know what the fuck you're yeah, using, you're fu- bro. You're Stoners will find you're any fucking thing to smoke out of, bro. I'm not any smoking, fucking I'm, thing. I'm not smoking out of it. This is a bowl. What, what the fuck is the filter for then? This is for like the smell of smoke. I live in an apartment complex. Walls ain't that crazy thick. Look, man, do you? Man. Well, niggas gotta do what they gotta do, niggas. You right, you right. Let, let, let me stop hating. Let me stop hating. Let me stop hating. Let me stop hating. <clears throat> anyway, but, anyway. Right, we way off track here, right? This is the point we're supposed to be talking a little bit about the boxing. 
Right, next fight, we have, um, I think we already spoke about Divine, Xavier versus main card. I think a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but you know, uh, as you said, you're going to whoop any guys. I'm going to whoop his ass. Look, I, I'm going to do what I have to do. Me and John are cool. We're buddies. Uh, ever since the fight got announced, I ain't going to lie, we've been, uh, it's been a little intense off screen. We've been arguing a lot. I'm not going to lie. Uh, a lot of shit went down. Uh, so I'm not gonna lie. Uh, at first we were like kind of fucking around, but I'm not gonna lie, shit is getting a little serious. Um, so you want to, to have to put it on him? Nah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to whoop his ass. Uh, a lot of things were said that nobody uh, saw. We were playing Fortnite one day. Uh, a, a lot of things were said that were pretty mean and uh i'm not gonna go into it because i'm gonna save it for the face-to-face just because you know i'm a i'm a i'm a i'm a piss his ass the fuck off but mm. Mm. <sighs> i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie feelings got hurt that day on both sides so yeah some shit locked in i feel you yeah it was a i don't know it was heat of the moment type shit so one too many fortnite games and we just uh kind of i don't know I don't, I don't know what happened but so The final two fights. Mystery opponent versus Jacob Nay and DDK versus Isa. Um well I don't know who the mystery opponent is, so any uh, guesses on who the mystery opponent could be. Barney. That shit is Barney the Dinosaur. Barney the Dinosaur is Barney the fucking dinosaur. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it's Barney the Dinosaur. Lesra and Pat DM'd me after I posted a comment. On Barney the Dinosaur, they said you're kick you're kicked off the card if you leak it one more time. It's Barney the Dinosaur. I'm telling you, bro. I already leaked that shit. No, real shit. I think it's Trey Ingram. You think so? Yeah. It just makes sense. It's gonna be Trey Ingram. If it's Trey Ingram, he's gonna get his ass, he's gonna get his ass beat. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, neither know. neither one of them niggas have had a good performance, so. Yeah, but I think I think Jacob is going to be taken a lot more serious. Every time I've seen Trey fight, he gets hit once and he just like stops entirely. So, I mean, maybe it's just maybe it's just unlucky, but I don't know. Exactly. I haven't seen I haven't seen Trey really stand there and bang. So, and then of yeah. course DDK versus Isa. Man, I can't wait for that fight. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so excited for that fight. Honestly, look, I got to keep I'm an honest man. I got to keep it a stack. I'm an honest man. I don't like lying. Lying is a sin. I don't like lying. So, look, this is this is this is how it's going to happen. I really love Isa and DDK. They're both amazing people of the community and like this is like one of those fights that is like perfect. But I got to keep it a stack. Isa has to win the first round. He has to win. Isa has to win the first round. Isa has to knock DDK out in the first round or pull something in the first round. Because if not, DDK is going to outbox him. He's going to. And look, I hate saying it because I really love Isa. But I have to keep it a stat. I have to keep it a stat. I'm not going to sit here and lie. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, you do got a point. Um, I can't lie. Now that we are on the end, uh, we got how you feel about the fights. I'm just gonna roll through. Um, I agree with you on most of them. You feel me? Yeah. Um, I got Tech because I just don't know what JDM is gonna come out with. I got Thomas via slaughter because Thomas is just he, he wants it too much. Oh, bro. Me because I'm him. What are you talking about? Ant, because it's Ant. Grimvis, because Grimvis. I have Intrepid actually beating Mark. And I got you beating main card. I'm going to take the mystery opponent, even if it is Trey Ingram. Huh. And I'm taking DDK because, first off, it's easy to don't really got a, a shot in hell. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> you really don't. 
um, you know, he's a he's a big guy, a lot of power, I'm sure. Yeah, hella power. That ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> D- D- DDK gonna let that man run out that gas tank and just put the hands to him. It's gonna be nasty. Man, it's gonna be nasty. Uh, you said it, I mean. Yeah, damn right I did. You know, Dodge Dodge is gonna go in impressive zero and three at this event. Okay, hold on. I got a question for you. What's mm. up with you and Dodge? You feel me? No, no, no. You feel me? It's fuck any promotion I'm standing up against. Um, you know, I didn't do it to break out because you know, it's, it's my fight. Yeah, it's breakout. I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't tripping. I can't be tripping. Right. Right. But you know, I did, uh, I did, I did press, um, Mark Flames for a long time. Right. Now, now I'm pressing Dodge because all their fighters suck ass. You got niggas like Isa, who's Isa's big. He's powerful, but he got the gas tank of an elephant, and he moves like a sloth. Saint Omega. Saint Omega thinks he's tough, but he throws punches like he's trying to wave away fly, flies. Slime is a fucking cornball. And a statement. I could, I could, I could agree with you on that. Unknown's a Twitter troll with no life. End of statement. Damn. Zobbies, eh? Jack is boxing, fucking garbage. Would you beat his ass? Yeah, probably. Just straight punch it could probably blow up that nigga's ass. <laughs> um. I don't even know who else saw his fucking brand. Uh, Leon Quinn. Who the fuck is that? You feel me? Rafi, the duck. I mean, like, Dodge is, Dodge is pitiful. It sound like, it sound like you gotta start a promotion now. Yeah, you feel me? Uh, I'm signed to Rested over in the corner. You right. That, I, that, yeah, I didn't, I, I'm sitting here staring at the fucking Reset logo like I didn't just fucking say. I have a Reset. All my niggas over there. Uh, we doing big things. Uh, but. <clears throat> yeah, you know. Dodge. Fuck Dodge. Easy ain't got a shot in hell. Um, again, I'm always. It no matter what it is, I'm always gonna pick the mystery opponent over whoever because I feel like there's always gotta be something behind a mystery opponent. Right. With Intrepid, I'm just gonna outwork him. Fair. Um, Intrepid has been in the gym. He has yeah. been in the gym a lot. I will say that. I don't know what main card is doing, but. I mean, you say you work it. I'm going to trust you on that. Uh, trust me, I'm working. Trust me, I'm working. Uh, again, Ant Mills, Grimbus, Thomas, me. Um, again, these are just reasons to get us easy wins. You know, these are bodies put in front of us for us to kill. I mean, what the fuck's a little Joey? Lamb to the slaughter. Tell me, what the fuck is an unknown? Anarchy, slime. The fuck is going on here? Um, <laughs> like it's it's a mess, lightweight division. But you feel me? The real niggas need to prevail, and that will show happen. You got to get that one, Zay. You have to get that one. You feel me? I uh, you feel me? It will be a night of ones because me, Grimvis, and Thomas need a fucking win. Oh, bro, I'm rooting for all y'all. You better be. You're on my show, but um. You're right. You're right. No, I'm sitting on your show. Fuck Zay. Yeah, yeah. Zay Astro. You know, Mark said the same thing at O three. The exact same thing. I walked across. I said Mark Lane. He said Zay Astro. See, see, bro. That um, bro. Mark is a savage, bro. Mark is my boy. Mark Mark caught them bitches. Mark (laughs) Lane. Sorry, I'm hyper. Why are you looking at the pussy like that? Hey, yo, can you stop describing it like that? (laughs) 
Like, I'm down. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm sitting here hyped as fuck. So let's let's get out to some of the brass tacks, right? We talked about the boxing, right? We all know what's going to happen there. Slaughter, violence, right? Right, right, right. I want to talk divine. Right? As a matter of fact, no, I want to talk Xavier, right? Where does the influence for boxing come from? The influence from boxing? Well, um, I've always, so backstory, I don't know if I've ever told anybody or not. I probably have in like a Twitter space or some shit. Um, my brother used to beat my ass when I was little. Um, I'm talking like, bro, he used to, he used to beat my ass. And, uh, you know, growing up, I was picked on being the, I was, I was the weak kid. Everybody's picking on me. Uh, you ain't shit. You're weak. You're a scaredy. And so, you know, that shit, I ain't gonna lie. That shit kind of hurt. You know, that shit stuck with me for a long ass time. And then, you know, ever since I started watching uh, Misfits, I was like, damn, I wish I could fight, but I'm such a, I'm, I'm weak. Boy, no, I started training and I, eventually I was like, man, I'm about to prove everybody in this bitch wrong. Bro. I'm not weak. Fuck it, you talking about? I'm not weak. I'm not no bitch. What the fuck? I'm not no bitch. And that was like two years ago, I think. So, so the inspiration was to open the gas. Yeah. I got you. But not, 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 not to whoop his ass, but just, just, just to prove a point that shit, don't, don't let, don't mm -hmm. let your past to make, to make the point you, that you can't whoop my ass anymore. You feel me? No, I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm going to whoop your ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying you were doing that. Oh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you, I thought you were saying uh, to whoop Yeah, but you also, you ain't whooping my ass. No, yeah, yeah, no, I am. Yeah, yeah. I'm going I'm to knock that, that snotty nose ass do-rag off your head. Um, I'm not wearing the do-rag when we spar, so you, there's not going to be nothing to knock off. Good, good. I'm going to knock that nut ass straight head off yours. You I'm, I mean? Bro, I'm, I'm swinging straight for your hair. I'm, I'm chopping all that shit off. You can swing for the hair. I'm be just long overdue. No, that's just long overdue. I'm chopping all that hair off. I'm gonna hit you with the five piece combo. I'm gonna have you like DDK did your ass. What you gotta say? Ooh, Damn, yeah. that Ooh, was a low blow. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that was a low blow. That was a low blow. I'm not gonna lie, that was a low blow. My, my fault. My fault. That was a low blow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you looking stupid like you do in your boxing TikTok. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Nah, that's it, bro. That's that's that, that's technique, bro. You really gotta like. <laughs> You know, cause like they're not expecting that shit. You know, you know. I'm gonna get That's fire. you. You need the Lord, nigga. Move. I got the Lord. Come on now. No. Mm, I got the Lord, man. All glory yeah. to God. So, speaking of, uh, you know, growing up young, you feel me? This influencer scene, fairly young, you feel me? Yes, sir. What drove you to want to join this scene in particular? I don't know, bro. I don't know. It was kind of like, I just kind of did, you know, like I didn't even expect it to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like I just did it. It was kind of weird. I felt like I wasn't even like conscious when I like started making content for the scene. It was just like, I don't know, like the universe just put me on that path because it was time. You know what I'm saying? Because right, right, right before I joined this scene, um, I was in a relationship. Uh, mental health was all the way on the floor. Terrible. Uh, I knew I had potential because I grew up making YouTube videos. I grew up editing. I grew up making like beats and songs and shit like that. And like, I don't know, eventually I was just like, bro, I'm sitting here wasting my life away. And I was like, fuck this shit. So I just started making videos. And I, I knew I had potential. So I... You know, not to this. This is gonna sound crazy, but you know, I left that relationship for the, for the content for this path. Uh, uh, hey, hey, I can't, I can't blame you, because um, fairly somewhat known fact, I dropped out of high school to start wrestling. And hey, look, uh, e even though you zero and four, that doesn't mean you're not about to make a crazy comeback arc. You know what I'm saying? Like this oh, scene is crazy. Owen four is correct. Incorrect. It's Owen three. My fault. My fault. Owen three. Um, but Deji was Owen three, and he fucking came back and whooped Fusi's ass. You feel me? It's, it's gonna happen. Exactly. I'm telling you, you're gonna whoop Slime's ass. It's gonna be violent. 
you're gonna have a, a viral moment in the scene. Be like, Zay finally got a win. You're gonna knock slime out brutally. Boom. What fuck is you talking about? But yeah, uh, for me, it was ironically the fact that um, I've been a Logan Paul fan for a very long time. Right. I'm not even gonna judge you on that because Logan Paul. That, that, that's Logan Paul. I'm not even gonna judge you on that. You feel me? Um, yo, know, we take out like maybe two years. Um, 2018. Well, you know, not even two years. About a good eight, nine months. You know, because I, I'm also at the time I'm a KSI fan. You know, you know, after Logan decided I'm gonna go film some hanging objects in a forest, I, I did fall off. It's it's not exactly my taste. That's I, I can never disagree with anyone that's like Logan Paul is wrong for that reason because if that's why you hate him I don't blame you that shit was wrong that shit was crazy that was cra- that was crazy was, work I'm not gonna lie bro I, I tuned into this blog and this nigga just casually th- oh, okay yeah this is crazy yeah that was one of the first times I remember I was watching this video I'm like he finna get packed up yeah <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm literally 14 years old. I'm not even on Twitter at the time, and I'm like, I'm gonna see videos about the demise of Logan Paul very soon. He finna very, get, very soon. Or, uh, he about to get wrapped all the way the fuck up. Very, very soon. It is imminent, right? And but you feel me? The boxing shit, it it piqued my interest. You know, facts. My interest. So maybe I wanted to see him get punched in the face. Maybe I just wanted to see two niggas beat each other up at the time. Who knows? Exactly. But no, nah, that shit, that shit low key inspired me. I was watching some niggas beat each other up, and I was like, you know what? Maybe I could do this. Exactly. That, that's literally how it goes. Like, it once it piques your interest, like it's like a, it's like a bug. It's like, damn, I, like, I really want to try this shit. Mm. Especially when you got a point to prove, then it's like it's, it's yours, honestly. Oh yeah, for real. Because I kind of, I'll say, I kind of, I slept on it for a while. Right. I held it in the back pocket. I was like, man, I'd be interested in doing boxing, but it's not something I'm gonna actively pursue. Right. You know, also I'm in like tenth grade, like ninety pounds, you know, off wrestling season. I ain't uh, I ain't doing shit right now, you feel me? But then hey, you still made it happen. Even though you lost, you still made it happen. You still worked for it, you still did it, you still went in there and did your shit. So you can't complain on that. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um and you're not so, you're not no bitch because you didn't quit. So hey, you got a point. That's the way I see it. You got some points, but <clears throat> me getting my ass beat aside, right? Uh, how did you find the small creator scene? Because it's a very niche scene. So I I I grew up off KSI and Deji. Like I grew up on them heavily. I took a little break. Around like the the rice gum era, <laughs> I feel like they kind of fell off for a little bit. Around that era, I mean that's KSI. I, that's KSI. When I really started fucking with KSI. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Or or KSI was a little bit more active, but I, I like around then I was fucking with like rice gum and shit like that. So I kind of stopped watching KSI. But um, uh, nah, KSI and Deji were like my favorite YouTubers growing up. When uh KSI and Logan they had their second fight, I'm not gonna lie, I was scheduled to uh you know leave work that night go to a certain someone's house and do a certain activity but then i was like wait a minute they're fighting tonight and i definitely laid in that bed with said woman and did not actively partake in activities because i preferred to watch ksi and logan fight instead i can't again i can't blame you Once it was it was that serious it was that serious once again, I can't blame you for leaving a relationship for content. I can't blame you for this because I've, I've done the same thing with wrestling, dog. I'm saying. It's just it's just like that, bro. And I would still do it to this day. Like, miss You're telling me, serious. dog. Bro, I've, I've dead ass sat in my bed. In my drawers. Pause. Right? No daddy. Socks on. Half, half naked lady with, with me. 
Not doing nothing but watching some wrestling. I swear to God. Come on, bro. And you know she's bored, but you don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a... Bro. Uh, this is still one of the craziest moments, and I can't believe... I. Looking back now as a more mature man, I can't believe I actually said this. Right. I'm watching wrestling, right? Mm-hmm. I can tell she's bored, but she's trying to make conversation because it's one of my interests, right? Right. My stupid ass decides to go. I said, you know what you should do? You should get your hair done like Rhea Ripley. I said, you know, but, but you want the way I said it was insane because I was recommending it, right? But I didn't know Rhea was going to be on this particular episode, right? So I was recommend like in bits and pieces, like kind of describe right. that cut. Yeah. Cause she already had short hair. And she she's feeling it right. And then Rhea comes out. I'm like, and I'm not thinking about it if I'm just watching it right. And then she goes, Wait, isn't that the same haircut you were telling me to get? I was like, ah. You, you fucked see. up. Bro. You fucked up, bro. About that. <laughs> was she on that ass? No, no, no. She kinda Teenage Zay was not a good boyfriend, so she was just kind of taking L's back to back, eating them on the chin for a, right. you know, a couple months. It, it's like it's like that, bro. Teenage it, it is. Is, is like it's that. bad. It's like that. It, it, it was bad. It's like that, bro. It's like that. I I, I got some horror stories on how bad on how bad Teenage Zay was. Teenage Zay, I seen the pictures, bro. I trust me, bro. I know. Uh, trust me. That's bro. That's that's late. Look. Yeah, it's around that stage. But that's like mid mid stage. That's like not. There's a. There's a balance point, as I say, right? You have early delinquent, which was a problem, getting arrested. Badass child, right? Terrible, terrible. You got the middle kid that kind of just caused trouble in school and was reckless, right? You got these. Then you got. Complete asshole, doesn't know what the fuck he's doing on that edge of maturity, but just doesn't have the mental fortitude to cross it. That mid stage is what all you see. That next stage, Zay, Zay has done some or said some shit that's next level, bro. Right. But where you at right now? Are you are you a new reformed man? Yes, of course, of course. I don't do. Nearly half of the stuff I did then. But speaking of early, you know, or late, mid, mid, words, uh, speaking of those stages, right? As we come uh, closer to the 45 minute mark, um, <clears throat> something I like doing on this show is allowing the guests to tell a little bit of a story from their lives based on a simple subject. So I got gas. Life would be a lightweight. You could just eat whatever the fuck you want. Lucky ass motherfucker. Telling me. But um, <laughs> um, but for the subject, just want to go on a story of being an unfortunate or poor partner in a relationship. Unfortunate or poor partner in a relationship. Yeah. <sighs> Damn. Damn, 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 damn. That's a damn shot. So there was this one girl I was with. I ain't gonna lie. I was, but I was a teenager. I was low key bogus. She had her own problems. Uh, you know, she was just she had her own problems. That's all I'm gonna say on it. Uh, I think I was like sixteen or seventeen. Um. I think, bro, I just was not there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not going to say I didn't care about her. But, you know, I at the time, I was working. I was 17. I was playing the game. You know, obviously, it was the same woman that I, you know, would have rather have watched KSI and Logan Paul 2 than, you know, partake in, you know, da-da-da-da-da-da. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I just was – look – 
I was just, I was a horny teenager, and you know that's the only reason I was in the, the uh, thing. Which you know, obviously looking back was a terrible thing. Uh, and uh, God, I'm sorry. Uh, hey, I mean, hey, it is fair. You feel me? Yeah. Life, life of a boy between 14 to like 18 is the taste of vagina. Yeah. Quarters, not even quarters, bro. Just, just. I can't describe it like a factory of flesh. Like if you like get flesh in a factory and you open it like out the package and you just like full tongue that bitch. Like that's the best way I can describe it is like pre-packaged factory pressed skin. I feel like that's the best way I can describe it. Factory press skin is the most disgusting line, and you know damn sure I'm clipping exactly that to promote this episode. I feel like that's the best way to describe it, though. But that's nasty. I'm that's that that that's a terrible thing to talk about. Which is probably why we should talk about it more. But um, is that is that story? You being a whore? I think that. Well, we didn't even do it that much. Yeah, that's what's crazy. But I think that is it. I'm not going to lie. I think that is it. I think. Besides the fact that I that I totally freaking broke up with somebody just to pursue this. What? To be fair, there was a lot more reasons behind it. But, you know, it was... I, look, a lot of shit happened in my life to where I was like, I'm not about to be, I'm not about to be sad my whole life. I had to make some shit happen. I got to do something. I'm not going to lie. Fuck this bitch. I need, I need to be a happy type shit. So, so. Not even, she, she, look, she, she's a good woman, but she had, she had her issues and I, I just was done. I just wasn't, uh, I wasn't there to, to handle it. I'm not, I'm not a shit handler. I can't mm. be. I feel you. I feel you. Can't be a shit handler. But I mean, being a being a whore as a teenage boy is nothing, really. It's just part of life, man. The chase of coot is a way of life until you reach the age where it just kind of gets boring. Exactly. You want something different than that, you know? I don't know about something different. Oh no, hold up. Hey, yo, hey, pause. Hold up. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. I don't, don't want to feel nothing down here. I want to feel it right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, move, yeah. It, move it upwards. Yeah, it's more about the security of it than it is the, the coochie of it. You know what I'm saying? It's more about, yeah. You know. Blood says something else. We are cool on that. But. <laughs> <clears throat> to kind of continue, because I feel like we got a little bit more time here. Um, bro. um Tell me. Tell me, tell me. In the build up to this fight, what about main card has impressed you or pushed you off of him the most? What do you mean by pushed off? Like, uh, Creating a dislike. Creating a dislike. <sighs> I mean, besides the shit he was talking about that one night, um, that motherfucker better post something. He, he, he needs to post something, you know? I'm And look, I, I told his ass this. I'm like, bro, you need to stop being so damn inconsistent. You always delaying shit, rescheduling shit. Uh... It's time. It's that time. We're hey, not about talk, to, you talk know. about it. I still, I still ain't got my podcast, and I was supposed to do one at maybe around O2 time. I'm saying when we're doing our walkouts, I better not see a tweet from Main Car talking about fight, hard fight, what we do for three days. No, boy, get your ass in this motherfucking ring right now. What? No, no, you, we can't <laughs> reschedule the fight. Free. Then they said mid walkout, he gonna tweet, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> and I'm a whoop, I'm a whoop his ass. I'm gonna get his ass. You feel me? Like, you gonna whoop his ass outside the ring? Both. 
inside the ring, outside the ring, mid side the ring, okay, ring so side. We, so we so we saying we gonna need security on every yes I have. yes yes uh, you yes. want that type of timing straight yes. killing niggas yes and then afterwards maybe we'll be cool maybe not doesn't matter this fight isn't look I don't care if I win or lose at the end of the day that I I got a purpose behind this fight and uh, what makes you say maybe not. What, like, maybe not me win? No, maybe not being cool after. Look, bro, what's, look. What's, what's, the, what's the origin of this supposed beef here? Uh, bro, a lot of shit was said, bro. I'm not going to lie. Story is, you know, obviously, Rafi pulled out. You know, main car wanted, he wanted to step in. I'm like, bet. You know, we chopped it up for a little bit. And, you know, it was, we, we, we already had this kind of, like, animosity going. Because, you know, there was just a lot of things that we had planned to do. But you know we can never find the time to do it. A lot of a lot of misspoken things, you know, like oh we were supposed to do this, oh why are we not doing this, you know what I'm saying? And we was already kind of the animosity, and then it's just we here to talk, so we ain't we ain't withholding details. What's going on here? Nah, I look, I can't even say it though because look, I got to save it for the face to face. I'm I'm saving it. I'm saving it for the face. You you won't. I ain't gonna lie. You almost got me. You you a sneaky ass. You almost got me. You almost got me. You a sneaky ass motherfucker. No, no. I'm whooping his ass. I'm whooping his ass. Well, it's my job here to pull out info, Doug. <laughs> you almost got me. I'm not going to lie. I'm whooping his ass. Beating his ass. And even if I don't win, it doesn't matter. Because knowing me, I'm going to find a way to just make make the best out of it. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't even matter if I win or lose. So this fight means more to him than it does to me. And I'm still going to whoop his ass. Mm. So, what? So you're saying it means more than him. So you're saying he needs this to launch off. He needs this more than I need it. No offense. Mm-hmm. And you I mean, know, it's, also, it's but related. also you mean you also have to think he does have a nice established presence on YouTube. He does. He does have a nice established presence on YouTube. But like I said, he's inconsistent. Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna get shit by being inconsistent. That's fair. That's fair. I'm very interested to myself and look at me. So, yeah. And look, I'll say the same thing to you. You ain't gonna get shit being inconsistent. Shit, you got good potential. Shit, you a funny ass motherfucker. I love you, but you know, you got to use that potential. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm I'm getting more and more talented as we go. But exactly. But shit, life happens though. You know. You you know it's you know making people think making content is sweet. You know, they think they can just get up and make content. That no, that shit is way more than just making content. You like that shit is a dedication. Bro, you gotta understand. For a lot of people, especially now with the content um era we're in, you kinda have to survive within a niche. Yeah. You have to hit your market and stick to your market. Exactly. Waiting for something to happen in a market like pro wrestling is ridiculous. Oh, I bet. I bet. You don't- because you don't want to start talking about the wrong thing that gets proven wrong almost as soon as it goes within any popularity. I know. You don't want to focus on negativity as much as there's so much negativity. Like, seriously, how hard is it not to touch little kids? My, not my facts. <laughs> facts. My fuckers are straight pedophiles. Like, dog, you. It's at the point where. It's the hardest thing to rationalize separating art between the artist. It's just something you gotta you gotta get used to that shit. You gotta do it, bro. Because you gotta because I, I look at it like yeah, you know I, I, I like a lot of these wrestlers, and then you know like someone like Chris Benoit, very well known, you know, great wrestler, fantastic wrestler. I am I. I can't support the nigga because what what do you mean? You killed your wife, your son. And yourself. It's hard, it's it's crazy. hard to back somebody. It's hard to back somebody that, that did something like that. Right, and I, I'm just saying, like, dog, there's nothing I can say. There's nothing I can say. Like, when Chris Brown beat Rihanna, like, it's like, damn, like, how can I back Chris Brown? But at the same time, it's like, you I make mean, good music, bro, but also, like, yeah. You make good music, but also, I can't remember what you was giving that me, me, me to Rihanna. No, and to Rihanna, like that's Rihanna. Rihanna, yes. Yeah, that is Rihanna. 
Man, don't don't let Ant hear you say that. Rihanna, Ant swear to God, Rihanna, Rihanna always been mid. I mean, I don't I don't listen to Rihanna like that, but like I just know that's Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? Like same no, thing, no, you know no, Beyonce like, is Beyonce. No, like, you feel me? Oh, Let's like mid? mid? Yeah. If he saw her in person, he would he would melt. Hey, Rihanna. So, I don't know. Rihanna is Rihanna. That's what I'm saying. Rihanna is Rihanna. But uh, I forgot what the fuck we were even talking about when we got there. Something about separating the artist from the Oh, yeah, yeah, art. separating art from the artist, yeah. Yeah. And I, I feel like that also applies to the influencer boxing scene. The oh, transition. Oh, yeah, yes, it does, yes. Because... Um... There's there's a lot. Like let's just go through a couple of these you can think of off the top of your head. Um Uncle Pizza. That's a unfortunate one. Rough. That was tough. Uncle Pizza had a had a bright future in the misfit scene, I'm not gonna lie. Bright yeah. future. You're looking at the wrong bright future, so Damn, who's but, another one? Who's another one? Uh, Astrid Wet. Bro, see, look, hey, I was an Astrid Wet simp. That was like that was that that was that was like the basis of my content for a little while. But she, bro, she fucked up, bro. She got greedy. More than greedy, she she misunderstood her place as a fighter. Yeah. Entirely, and also, you know, I'm putting putting together some context clues. I think she declined a mandatory defense against a certain someone who may or may not be holding that title currently. Is holding the title currently? Is holding the title currently? I'm I'm just saying, you know, putting some content clues together. I think. I, look, I got I got, bro. I, I'll stand on it for you because I know you don't want to get in trouble. You know, what I'm saying Nikki Root. I'll say it for you. That, bro, oh, my God, bro. First of all, shout out Nikki. She let me hold the belt. That was one of the best moments in life because that shit was heavy as fuck. I was not expecting it to be that heavy. Nikki's the GOAT. She would beat Ashford's ass. But anyway, moving on from that subject. Shout out Nikki. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Shout, out, shout out Nikki Room. You feel me? But, yes, I feel like I feel like Ashford duck Nikki. And they told 100%. 100%. Not give another fight. Unless yeah. 100%. That would have been fire too. That would have been so fire. But anyway. What else? Damn. Who else? Who else out here getting clapped in the influencer boxing scene? Damn. They become this forgettable this fast. I I know there's some, you know what I'm saying? Like I know there's one that's like bad. I just can't even like, put my finger on it. Yeah, there's either too many or we just don't remember. No, no there's definitely more. I'm telling you. There's definitely oh, yeah, the steroids, of course. What am I thinking? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, Caleb Izzard. He yeah, fucked and up. um, and that virus, virus, dude. Yeah, yeah, that was fucked up. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Because virus, I feel like, he, I feel like Callum Izzard really fucked up. Because how you do that and then lose. Not low key, yeah. That that was not nah, OJ got the bitches though. Yeah, yeah. OJ's OJ's nice. I always fuck with OJ just because he pulled out the O2 in oh, yeah. my corner. Right. But that shit was fire. It was. But also, sorry, sorry. People messaging all these fucking group chats. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little mad at OJ because he had Raffy winning. So you know, I hope he steps on the Lego. But other than that, I love OJ. But no, yeah. I feel like he, I feel like he got his karma with uh, USA saying pulling out. No, I, no, that sucked though because I wanted to see OJ fight. So that that just that sucked even more. <laughs> to be honest, the fight the card was like a solid seven point five. But if OJ fought, it would have been an eight point five. Because you know OJ would have done his ass. Let's be oh, yeah, OJ, OJ would have would have entertained for sure. Exactly, and it's, especially if AT hopped in. If AT hopped in, that shit would have been a straight nine. That would have been fire. OJ would have got his ass. 
Oh yeah, I think OJ beats OJ, AT for sure. Most likely, I must say. I think a lot. I think a lot of people beat AT with the hands. It's just that nigga be hugging. Look, I, I I can't I can't hate on it because he's still winning. So I can't even say shit about it because he's still winning. So fuck it. It is what it is. Yeah, I I can I think it's a very weird way to win, but you know it's yeah. it's happening. It is what it is. He's got he, he got did, warnings, so he did decent against Salt Poppy. Like at least he had a game yeah. plan with Salt Poppy. Nah, yeah, but with King Kenny, that I ain't gonna lie, that did piss me off a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Then nigga really, then nigga really ran at him and just grabbed him. I'm not bro, full fucking speed. He like this is not get out. Like stop. Stop. Uh, but you also got to put it on his opponents because in some way, Kenny should have been able to like just plug his ass when he was running at him like that. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Ah. Stick his ass. Yeah. But also, some, it is what it is. Yeah, it is. Somebody's, it's just a pass. Somebody's going to have to beat him eventually. Exactly. It ain't going to be just karate nigga they trying to blow up. Definitely not. Definitely not. AT is going to do that ass. Matter of fact, as we wrap up the show here, what are your predictions for the next, let's say, three Misfits cards? Oof. Well, Misfits 16 is a pay-per-view, right? Uh, It might be. <sighs> Damn. Definitely. Uh... Ah. Fuck. I feel like we got, we're going to get Bryce Hall at some point because, I mean, I feel like that's inevitable. It's been a hot minute since uh, Bryce Hall did his bare knuckle. He's definitely been training. Him and Taylor Holder has to be – I think they're doing bare knuckle. Fuck that shit. Put that shit on Misfits. Um, we're definitely going to get some rappers soon because man was just talking about that. Um, and we're definitely going to get some MMA on that bitch because man has been teasing us, blue balling us. On Twitter talking about MMA, so we're definitely gonna get that very soon. And um Deji's gonna come back soon and whoop somebody's ass. Um yeah. I would I would say um probably gonna see KSI come back. Probably at third event out. I see him being like because obviously there's two cards in July that's like semi confirmed. Right. So I think it's going to be a third card in August. That's where we're going to see the return. Can't die. Probably against someone like a Darren Till, you know, a mid level UFC fighter or like a shitty pro boxer. <laughs> Depends on how KSI is feeling that day. It's not going to be someone like Slim. No, nah, no. Nah. Do you do you think KS do you think Slim should get his number five with the KSI fight, bro? Of course. Wait, no. Well, hold up. I heard like I don't know the full story. I heard he was on Snake Shit with Misfits. I don't know the full backstory. I fuck with Slim. Slim is like one of my main characters in the fucking in my animations. So obviously I love Slim. So if Slim doesn't get his number five in the KSI fight. Something's wrong with the universe, bro, because that, that has to happen. That has to. And I have to be there if they fight to give Slim his number five. Personally. I think, I don't think KSI's coming back to fight influencers. That's the problem. Probably not, because after Tom, you're not going to go from Tommy Fury to Slim. No offense. I mean, yeah, Tommy Fury is Tommy Fury. He could do like an MMA fighter, but I don't see him. Unless Slim takes like some actual challenging fights, yeah. Away from the influencer scene, I don't see it happening. Yeah, only way Slim gets a KSI fight is if he steps away from the influencers himself. So Poppy has a better chance right now, if you ask me. Yeah, because he just did Am- Amaru's Fari's ass. And he's, I feel like Salt's a bigger name still, even after Slim beat him. Oh, yeah, yeah, Salt, yeah, Salt's in that bitch. Misfits, Misfits is kind of doing salt dirty, Loki, though. You think so? 
because you have, they gave him, they shouldn't have gave him AT. Or no, him and AT was a good fight. Yeah. I just think after he lost, they should have gave him somebody just like a step down from AT. Instead, they gave him Slim. I mean, to, I be, to be fair, I, I think they did think that Slim was a step down. I feel like they thought Slim was going to be uh, some light work. But I thought, I think everybody knew Slim was going to be a challenging fight for Salt Poppy. The most challenging influencer, in my opinion. Slim's the and one I of the think, best influencers. I thought they should have gave him someone like a, uh, a JMX, maybe. I saw about the would have done his ass. That I see what you mean though, because then that would have just that would have just boosted him right back up to where he was before. Right. And then you could do it, and then you could do the slim fight, right? Yeah. Because even the, then, if he loses the slim fight again, he just fought so far a, a Ferrari, the Madman. So boom, right back up. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I rewatched the Salt Poppy versus Slim fight. Salt Poppy was winning that shit till he got tired. I'm not going to lie. He was winning that fight, like, clearly until he got tired. I wouldn't even say until he got tired. He was winning that fight securely. Yes. Right up until Slim caught him with a a really good shot. Yeah. And he just got stunned, and Slim's just too. Slim's good at catching when that blood's in the water. Exactly. And he's good at captivating on that. So that was – Saul Poppy had that shit in the bag – what was it? I think it was like the first four rounds, three or four rounds. It, Slim even said right after the fight, I would never fight Saul Poppy again. He was like, I would never fight Saul Poppy again. Do you think Salt beats Kenny, though? That seems like that's probably the next fight. Who gets a rematch with AT? <sighs> yeah, I think so. I think Salt Poppy beats King Kenny. Yeah. yeah. I, I gotta agree. Kenny. Kenny has like one or two good misfits performances. He's not really that aggressive, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. He's only really aggressive against people. Like he can clearly blow out the water. Like Winderson Nunes. Like Adam Brooks. Yeah, I like Adam Brooks. I thought Adam Brooks was gonna be a little bit better, but I mean shit is what it is. Yeah, I thought I, I thought he could bring a little more to the table, but he I'm kinda just, he kinda Man, fucked himself over. Power. Yeah, yeah, because I think, yeah, they overestimated his power because he knocked down that big muscular guy who oh, was bro. kind of just off balance. Yeah, he, he did not. Nah, he did not get his ass clean up, though. He said. I mean, it was a nasty shot, but putting him against Kenny, again, Mitzvah really doesn't know how to develop fighters. Yeah, that was, that, that, that was, that was like lamb to the slaughter type shit. I'm not going to lie. Like, for real. Adam Brooks and King Kenny. That was that was weird. I would have never made that match up. That's just me though. Yeah. That's just me. But like it happens with a lot of fighters. Like, as much as this fuck most wanted, they should not have thrown him in there with Joey Knight. I mean, it was just it was just to build Joey Knight for the lightweight tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm I'm sure most even knows that. Like they probably told most, like, yeah, you're uh your, uh, your, yeah, your, I think yeah. there's no, there's not a universe where most one that doesn't know that he's a builder personality. Yeah, because they they try to throw him in there with fucking Fox to do after Fox just torched the nigga. Small Spartan J, which is, that was he's he's a good fighter. I mean, the way he uh did uh what's his face during uh Misfits Nine that uh, was that was fire. Maybe? I think I think it was Pulley. Yeah, it might. Yeah, yeah, yeah because his last fight before uh, Fox was Pulley. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and then the way Fox did his ass, I was like, damn. And then you know they throw Evil Hero and Most One in there. I'm, you know, I it, it broke my heart because you know I I like to rep the small scene. I mean, Smox is like kind of from the small scene, but like he's like bigger now. You know what I'm saying? Like Most One is like yeah. from most, the small scene. My, in my opinion, most. Is someone who is in the small scene, but he, I don't consider him a small creator boxer simply because he never fought in the scene. Right, that is fair. He was—I mean, he was going to, but then it got canceled and shit like that. So, 
but yeah, nah, definitely. Um, most still that he he did rep uh the small scene in the press conference for Misfits. Yeah, 12. yeah I got, I'll I'll give him that. He did have yeah. all the the logos there. Hell yeah, that shit was fire. If I was on Misfits, I'd do the same thing. To be honest, yeah, I would fair. I would have people send me their pictures and put on a shirt and wear the wear the shirt during all the media and have like breakout and rested and everything on my shorts like i would yeah because you you gotta rep where you come from now speaking speaking of right you were in nashville for misfits yes thir- not 13 13 yes 13 i can count um what was it what was the atmosphere I, in the media area, what's the atmosphere for the fighters, all that? It was amazing, dude. It was so amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was beautiful. I still got the the prime bottle that I got from – I washed it out, obviously, because I'm not about to fucking you know, have a nasty-ass prime bottle. But I still got the prime bottle and the media bracelet that I got from that night because that shit was that – was, that, was, that was one of the best nights of my life. Oh, so fire. So fire. It was so fire. I would imagine even with the bomb threat, it kind of got better because you were able to be outside with the fighters. Yeah, and the bomb threat threw me off. I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of plans with a lot of people to, like, make skits and, like, do content and stuff like that. But I think me, I got so, like, overwhelmed. Not overwhelmed. What's the word? Like, overjoyed. I think, like, I can't really, like, I was just, like, blown away. No, I think overwhelmed might be the word. Yeah, I was just like, like in a good way though. I was just like, so amazed to be there and like experience it the way I experienced it. I just like totally forgot like everything I wanted to do because I was just like amazed to be there. It was like, oh, it was just amazing. I was like in heaven, bro. It was amazing. Oh my god, I want to go back. I want to go to another Misfits event. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about going one too, but I wanted I wanted to be a good one. I wanted to be worthwhile because Houston was not worthwhile in my opinion. It honestly, I feel like I really wanted to go to Houston, but I kind of felt like it was just doing too much, and like I have to save up for the expenses to my fight. Which when Rafi pulled out, I'm not gonna lie, I was pissed because um that was like a couple. I think when by the time Rafi pulled out, it was a couple days before uh misfits 15 i was i was sitting here thinking like bro i could have gone like i'm saving up to travel to our fight and you just pulled out i'm like what the fuck but then you know a man card stepped in so i was like thank god it's not going to waste because yeah, breakout breakout is quick with keeping the people they want to keep on the card yeah yeah no they had a that list of fighters like a couple hours after like the next day or something like that yeah, because I don't. When they were like, "Oh, so Rafi pulled out," I was like, "Damn!" I thought I thought he just full on ducked. I'm not gonna lie. I thought yeah, was scared. I mean, Rafi Rafi did say his reasoning. I don't know if he went public with it, but it is what it is. I, I don't have I don't hate him. I mean, he's a he he's a good content creator. He not my niche personally, but he is good. He's definitely more on the MMA side of uh the of content, and you know that's. He makes he, you know, that's his that's his thing. But you know, I wish him the best. And if he ever wants to run it in the future, we can maybe run it. I don't know. I mean, it just depends. I mean, I don't know. Do you think Rafi can gain back his credibility? <sighs> yeah, we were only a couple weeks into the buildup, so I mean. It's not like yeah, motherfuckers yeah, are gonna it's like. An, it's remember. an early pull out, you know. Yeah, it was early. It's, if it was a little bit more later, um, I probably wouldn't have even fought. To be honest, like if it was like a couple weeks before, I, I ain't gonna lie, I probably wouldn't have fought. Just because, like I didn't expect it to affect me the way it did. Like, I, like I was actually like sad after he pulled out. Like I felt like I had wasted a lot of time because my Discord server, um, like right before I figured out I was fighting. I was like, all right, I'm every weekend we're gonna play games, or you know, I'm we're gonna hop on calls, have a good time, and then uh breakout hit me up and they were like, uh, you wanna fight? I'm like, yeah. And so, you know, I told my Discord server, I was like, all right, well, 
you know, I'm going to be busy. You know, I can't, I can't even say why I'm going to be busy. And then, you know, after the fight was announced, you know, it made more sense. And I was like, all right, guys, you know, I got to, I got to train. And so, you know, I, I was pissed because like, I actually do value like spending time with like people that are super invested into what I create. Like that is like one of the reasons I do what I do is to like show people that like when you try to do something and you actually like put your mind to it, make no excuses, you can really fuck shit up. You know what I'm saying? You can really make the world your bitch in a way. So I was, I was like, damn, bro. Like I could have been sitting here like, like doing all this shit for nothing, but not. Nah. Main car pulled, stepped in, so I was like, "Yes, thank you, thank you." Uh, I'd imagine. I mean, luckily, my opponents have all, you know, at least had the balls to, you know, stay. Especially Ant. Especially Ant. You ain't got to bring that up. You a brave look. You're a brave man for that. I'm not gonna lie. Nobody can ever call you a bitch. You went in there with Ant Mills, so. Hey, I'm, to be fair. Uh. They ain't tell me it was Ant Mills when I signed the fight. For real? Yeah, I was supposed to fight Mystery. <sighs> and then Ant Mills just gonna walk out on my ass. Damn. Yeah. That's, that's, nah, that's fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. That's fucked nah, You need to get your leg back on somebody. <laughs> I'm getting it back on Lesro Sparte, bro. I'm bro. Hey, look, hey, look. Lesnar's my boy, so look, I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all handle that, but nah, that's that 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 is. Luck, luckily, uh, when the tournament idea came out, they were like, "Okay, we can announce his end." Yeah. Even then, I'd already agree to the fight. I'm like, I'm not gonna pull out. Yeah, like, I'm not no bitch. Like, yeah, I feel you, bro. Like, I couldn't get anyone, maybe a little more. My level. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Thomas and AJ, you know, maybe mix it up a little bit. Right. Damn. But you know, the day the day will come. AJ AJ knows he owes me rounds. And Thomas. I whoop Thomas' ass every day, every time I spar day. Call him out after you whip slime. Just be like, hey. Call him out. Get get that face to face. Nigga. Oh, Thomas? Yeah, with Thomas. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. We gotta see how he does against Anarchy. You're right. If he's done at this point again, I don't know. You want the winner of that fight, or you want the loser? I'm I'm looking I'm looking at some options. You feel me? Because if you fight loser, then you you can secure two fights. Like first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight the dude that lost, doing better than you did, and then whoop your ass. Or you can just go straight for the winner. You know. You know. Oh. Uh, I'm looking at unknown for after this fight mainly. Oh yeah, y'all do y'all do his ass. Y'all do his ass. That's like again, but again, I gotta see how niggas perform. Yeah, unknown, unknown could surprise niggas. But yeah, but that's I, facts, and we gotta we we gotta give unknown his flowers because we really haven't seen nothing from unknown. Like for all we know, he could knock Ann out in the second round or some shit. We don't know. Yeah, he we has really the, he has the element of surprise. Yeah. And Question is, is he gonna use that shit to his advantage? Uh, I don't think so, but <laughs> he does have an element where he could pull out something out of that. Yeah. yeah. The only issue is that if he doesn't, that's definitely when it, it's like if he's trash, definitely when it's like, oh, bro, do his ass, get that too. And I know personally, Ant Ant might be looking for a first rounder. And if Ant is looking for that, chances are he's gonna get it only and and i've heard from ant's mouth maybe once or twice he's looking like he might want to end it first round i guess we'll have to see you july 27th hey i'm telling you now i might not end it first round it depends on how he, he feeling out how i'm feeling if someone comes out there and he's really just shaky on bullshit oh my god i'm dead yeah because you you fought how many times do you fought like Three times? Yeah. Yeah, so. I'm going to just maul that nigga, bro. You've been through the nerves. you Bro, that, that is such an advantage. You've been through the nerves three times. Like, the nerves is like, like, I've never fought, but I know that shit 
dumps you of adrenaline. Like you, it dumps you. It not, I would say it dumps you. It just, it, it saps your energy. It takes away your linear thought because yeah, I would say I was nervous fighting in. Definitely, I was nervous as hell. Right. Like, I almost missed my walkout type nervous. Right. I wasn't as nervous fighting Wonder, but, like, once the bell rung, I kind of, like, I got a little, a little iffy. Right, right. Y'all here was pure calm. Right. And slime is going to be just effortless. Oh, bro. Yeah, no, I faced it. Because, like, nerd, like, when I first sparred, uh, or no, this bro. The second time I sparred, I was more nervous than the first time. The first time I ever sparred an actual boxer, I got my shit blasted. Pause. Like, I got my shit blasted, and it was it was a seventeen year old kid. He was fresh off Golden Gloves. Uh, the coach was like, "Xavier's new here. You know, we we're gonna show him how to dance a little bit." He was like, "All right." So you know, we meet in the middle. Boom! Sticks me in the nose. I'm like, "Damn." That was a big ass damn moment, but I, I was calm that day. Then the second time I got in that bitch, I was I was low key a little nervous. I was like, "Damn!" I was like, "These motherfuckers are good, bro." Fuck, but you know, shit. That I just gotta face it, cause I'm not trying to be nervous on fight night. I'm not trying to get my energy dumped. Even if I do, I gotta be used to it so I can whoop main card's ass out of oblivion entirely, like entirely. But uh. Personally, I am looking forward to this breakout spar day because there's a lot of personalities on here, a lot of clashing. Oh yeah, you know, figures. It's gonna be very a very intense spar day. Nah, yeah. it is, and uh, I think out of everybody there, I feel like I want to spar DDK just because I feel like he would give the best experience. Like, like when I spar, I'm trying to like learn. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to like see what I'm able to do against like other people you know what i'm saying like i don't give a fuck if i get my ass beat like sparring like like if somebody's like trying to ego spar i'm not going to spar you because win or lose i'm not going to put myself in that in that in that energy you know in that mind in that in that situation in that perspective because that's i don't like i don't like that shit but yeah, like to learn ego, ego sparring is actually fucking garbage no yeah i hate that shit and if like if somebody's like oh I beat your ass Okay, well now we're not gonna find out because you just made it personal. Like, and now I can't now I can't spar you. Cause I'm I'm not I'm like I'm not like I can't even explain it, but to to waste your energy or to use your skills for for self-fulfillment, it's a sin, bro. It's a sin. Being self-worthy, self-fulfillment, that's something bad, bro. I'm not fucking with that shit. So I'm I'm doing it to learn and to I already said what I gotta say. Shit. Needless to be said. I'll get my ass beat. I don't mind getting my ass beat. Yeah, I don't blame you. I I still try to take things to ask you to know. As y'all can tell from the DBK you know. That shit was look. We got look that what happened? Look. <laughs> So I was in there. I was I was measuring right. I was about to throw a punch. He timed it right. Caught me a little off balance, you know. From I wasn't falling back on my back leg correctly. Yeah. Little, oop, just you know, a little fall back. To be fair, the weight difference is crazy. Yeah. To be fair, the weight difference is super it, crazy. It was a solid almost a hundred pounds. Um, yeah. So I I don't even blame you for that. It's just the the picture from it is despicable yeah it's nasty <laughs> it's despicable <laughs> it's despicable but then also you know i, I sparred waffle and i sparred mark right gave them both hands i'm um, bro there's a there's an unknown spar with pat that also gave pat hands really yes i didn't know pat did spar day everybody spars that spar day dog you're right. I'm excited. I I love sparring. Sparring is one of my favorite parts of boxing because it's just it's so ooh when you get in, especially when they're better than you. Cause then it's like it's like, oh shit, you know, like it's like, ooh, it's like it's ooh, I, I don't know how to explain it. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. 
It's that, that's why I want to spar Rand so bad, because despite the fact that Rand has a terrible record, Rand's really talented. Exactly. It's like I said, I got to see how I do against Mancard, and I got to see how I do against Rand on spar day, because I'm, look, I'm not stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rand lost a bunch of times. That don't mean he's trash. It's like, come on now. I'm not stupid. No, because Rand be working. Rand, Rand do be working. He does. And, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to make excuses, but, you know, I work two jobs, and I'm full-time content creator outside of that. So, you know, Rand would want it more than me. Simple as that. If I was, if, bro, if I could train full-time, ooh, 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 ooh. This scene would be mine. I'm not going to lie. If I could do this shit full time, this scene would be mine. You got a point. But to wrap this up, because I already have damn near 90 minutes of editing footage to do. Oh, bro. <clears throat> what are your final words to main card? I'm whoop that ass. Um, I don't I don't care who's in your corner. I don't care um, what you hit me with. I don't care if you come come with pressure. I don't care if I don't I don't care if you're on steroids. Um, I don't care if you come in fucking 300 pounds heavier, faster, quicker, sexier. I'm whooping that ass. Mm. I'm whooping that ass. July 27th, Newcastle, PA. Divine Xavier versus the main card. Beating his ass. Beating his ass into oblivion. Divine is saying that he is going to beat his ass into oblivion. Yes. It's crazy. Bro's never going to make another podcast again after I'm done with him. Yes. But you know what? That's okay because I'll, he, can, he, can, he, can, uh, he can be on Divine series after that. I'll give him something to do. Keep him busy. Yeah. But, of course, thank all of you for joining us. This has been After Dark Candid Conversations with the Star Before Time featuring Divine Xavier. Uh, I, of course, being your host, the Star Before Time. Please watch us fight July 27th, Newcastle, PA. Breakout 04, New World Order. Until then, thank you. Fuck you. What the fuck are you talking about? Goodbye. <clears throat>